It's a really fun program to be in. Coming into this program, I thought I wanted to be a pharmacist. I wanted to get familiar with the drugs and see what I was really getting myself into, if it was something that I was gonna enjoy, or if it was something that I was absolutely gonna dislike. I ended up loving it. So we count pills, we also have mock labs where we fill prescriptions, we have patient encounters. The course is two years. And in the last year, you do your clinicals where you go into a real pharmacy and you and have real patient encounters. It's just really about one, making memories, two, learning the information, and three, really getting to know if this is the field that you want to go into. Well, I would say the most challenging thing is probably remembering the top 200 most common drugs, but you have over two years to completely memorize it and know their adverse effects. So us having this lab helps us a lot because first coming into the lab, I didn't know that you were supposed to count pills by fives, which if I was to go straight into clinicals, I wouldn't have known that, so I would have been absolutely clueless of something so small as in like knowing how to count the proper amount of pills. Being able to get the certification, you do need to be able to complete 96 hours of clinical hours. So either this year we have retail, but we've heard in the past it has to do with 96 institutional and retail. Um, on top of that, you have to be able to memorize your top 200 drugs so that you can take your state board. And then passing the state board is whenever you will be able to get your certification. Even if pharmacy isn't, you know, your top choice, if you want to do anything in the healthcare field, it's a great place to start.